the Thoughty OT podcast. I don't, I don't know about you, but I mean, it's something that I've been wrestling with for a while, but I think because my my experience is so sort of atypical to those particularly who are, who are neurotypical sort of around me in my life, even if I really, really care about them, um, it's, it's, it's quite a hard thing for people to relate to. Like with anxiety disorder, people can sort of relate to the feeling of being anxious um, in terms of perhaps, obviously it's not like all ADHD's kind of aspects, but in terms of sort of the the focusing aspect of like ADHD, like some people might be able to sort of relate a little bit to to that. But autism, there's like introverts, yeah. maybe. <laughs> oh, you're just introverted. That's what yeah. that is. Yeah, just introverted. <laughs> I think it's because you don't have like like autism hasn't had its OCD moment in my opinion. That, that moment of people where they go oh, I'm a little bit OCD, I forgot my car key, you know, I for, I've left the cooker ring on, or, oh, I need everything completely clean because I'm a bit OCD. They don't mean it. Like, just like some people when they say, oh, everyone's a bit autistic, particularly mm. with techies. I've spoken to a couple of techie friends that I think, well, they're almost certainly on the spectrum, but they're like, oh, you know, we don't think too much about it. We're all a bit on the spectrum, especially in this industry. And it's like, well, no, but... <sighs> Just, you know, it's quite complicated because people don't really understand what that means. Like ADHD, particularly the inattentive and hyperactive side of those things, people can kind of almost understand what that means or relate to it and go, okay, I think I've got an idea what yeah. that is. Yeah. But, you know, like if you're thinking about sort of TV and media, where are the autistic examples? Where are the autistic, mm. not role models, but, and of course there's a spectrum. So there's no like, that's kind of part of the problem, really. <laughs> it's kind of like you can't really sort of it is. put all the traits character and go here's your F, you know example or here's your sheldon cooper for example it's yeah. not like that um you know but then people go oh you're not like that or you're not like my and it's true everyone's got a five-year-old flipping nephew who's autistic with high support <laughs> needs it's, where are they all where are all these kids they've been everywhere um <laughs> you're not like that you're, you're not autistic um so it's really it's quite odd um yeah. And I think that's kind of a yeah. problem that I don't know if we're ever going to, as like an autism advocate community, mm. I don't know that we're ever going to get there because it's such a wide spectrum. You can't say this is what autism is this, in every, you know, for everyone. These are, this is a set of challenges that everyone has and they're exactly the same. That is one of, got high one of the difficulties, isn't it? It's like, yeah. you know, you give any characterization of autism and it's, it's not going to, sink in or apply to or relate to some demographic of autistic people like <laughs> so it's yeah. it's so it's always a, a task but um i do i do think that we do have like you're saying about like little little ocd like i have heard a lot of phrases going about at the moment like um a touch of tism um or the oh? touch of tism people say or i'm i'm a bit autistic like, like, i heard that one <laughs> I give yeah. it a mustard or it's <laughs> it's is it's that like, a good thing to have a touch of <laughs> or is it a, I don't know it's by the devil sort of thing what, what where are we at with this <laughs> I don't know because obviously it really depends on the person who's saying it like some people I think they just say it because they do think they're a bit autistic but they don't want to say like openly I'm autistic or you know so it could be used yeah. in that way some people might use it to describe themselves as being a bit quirky or unique or like you know so there's i think there's with a lot of stuff like that i mean you have uh, autistic people themselves like autistic influences using that type of phraseology but then you also have people who are outside using it as in, in a sort of a derogatory way as well so it's it's quite complex 